ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video with me the king of the funkos and today we have another top 10 video uh this will be a little bit different because i won't actually have uh the pops in front of me um due to the fact that i don't own every pop unfortunately and actually in this franchise that we're going to do i actually own none um these are just 10 that i would one love to own um this is of course my preference to this 10 um, and I will always like to know what your 10 are. Um, however, I will get a TPD picture up somewhere um, so that you guys can at least see the pop that I'm on about. Um, so today um, we are going to do a top 10 Freddy Funko. Um, so this can be a normal Freddy Funko. This could be the um, star signs, anything Funko logo pretty much. Um, I'm going to try and do this top 10 kind of like as a Wednesday project because I normally um, try and upload Monday and Friday. So I want to kind of add this to the week and try and make this on a Wednesday um, and hopefully do this on a weekly occurrence. Um, but without further ado, let's start off with our number 10. Um, and as you guys know, I am a horror fan. So, no surprise, there are going to be a few um, horror pops. Um, and at that stage, number 10 is actually the Chucky Bloody. This is um, a 300, oh, sorry, 3,000 piece. Um, and currently, it is on the market for about 100 to £110. Um, I absolutely love this pop. There is a normal Chucky, which is a little bit cheaper. Um, but this is one that I would love to own, and this is going to try and be realistic. I don't want to be putting three thousand, four thousand pound worth of pops. Um, uh, this is ones that I'm looking to purchase myself. Um, so number ten has to be Chucky Bloody. Um, I just think also the bloody look looks a lot nicer than just the common version of it. Um, so that is why this is a number ten. Going on to number nine, I think this might be the cheapest Freddy Funko I had, and it is a Franken Freddy. This is uh, valued at about thirty to thirty-five pound. Um, I don't know why I'm so engrossed in the pop. Um, it's just one of them kind of cheap Freddy uh, pops that I am looking to get my hands on probably quite soon. Um. And I think you could probably see this be the first Freddy Funko added to my collection. Personally, I have had Freddy Funkos before, but I have um, sold them elsewhere. Um, but yeah, I'm a big fan of the Freddy, um, Frank and Freddy. There is, of course, Frankenstein Freddy, um, which is a lot, lot more. You're talking like 300, 400 pound. And there's not much real difference between the look of the Frank and Freddy and the normal Frankenstein. So that is my Frank and Freddy. Comes in at number nine. Number eight is a Funko related pop. It is a Sagittarius. Um, now, the reason I have this as number eight is it's the star sign of my daughter. So for me, um, it's an obvious. I am a Taurus person. I think the Taurus pop looks pretty awesome. My mum's a Leo and I do also like the Leo pop. So, um, there are a few star signs that I might look into getting, but I am going to be looking into getting Sagittarius due to the fact of it being my daughter's star sign. This is kind of in the 50 to 60 pound range. Again, not too bad, kind of one of those mini grails. Um, and if you like collecting kind of star signs, anything like that, it's a very nice pop for sure. Number seven. This is a uh, Pop Asia pop. I do believe, if I'm correct in saying, um, it is normally in a, a double pack. Um, but you can, of course, buy it uh, individually. And that is the Monkey King um, Freddy Funko. Now, you have a normal Monkey King, which also looks really nice as a pop. But I really do like my Pop Asia pops. And I'm looking to start a collection um, on Pop Asia, and I think the Monkey King and the Monkey King Freddy Funko could very well be the first um, Pop Asia pops to arrive to the collection. It's coming in at about £81, but you could get the, uh, I think it's the Box of Fun or something like that, 
um, where you can get the double pack, a keychain, two hard snacks, etc. I think for about 180 to 200 pound. So I might have a look into trying to get the double pack because it would just be easier and save me time. But definitely a nice pop. Number six is from a TV series that I quite enjoy watching. Probably one of my favourite characters in the TV series and that is the Twisty Bloody. Um, this is of course a really nice um, Freddy Funko. I have the a normal um, twisty from American Horror Story. I'm looking to get the um, Comic Con version, um, which I think is valued at about fifty pound. Um, and the Freddy Funko is a roughly two hundred and fifteen pound. It is a three hundred and fifty piece, so it is quite hard to come by. Um, I think the last one sold back in like 2019, possibly 2020. It's valued at 215, I believe on TPD, but you're probably looking at more like three to 400 pound if it hasn't sold in quite some time. Number five, this could have easily been number one, but I think there's a few others that I would love to add that would make them more like grail for me. Um, but number five has to be the 4,000 piece Pennywise. As you guys know, I love my It collection. I have pretty much every pop from the It series. Um, I think I'm down to like the final eight or nine, which sounds like a lot, but when there are a hell of a lot of pops um, from that collection, I think that's not too bad. I think this is coming in about £150, anywhere between that and £170 at worst. Um, but I... Did, of course, uh, try and get it in the uh, Pop Figures uh, mystery box. Um, I personally am a massive, massive fan of um, Pennywise. So I will be looking to get this into the collection very, very soon. Number four. This is from, I believe, the newest um, box of fun, Freddy Funko. And I think this is by far the only... Um, rock pop i would ever look into keeping i'm a massive fan of ghost i'm a massive fan of um heavy metal etc but no one can beat this singer personally and that is the freddy funko as freddy mercury it is uh, there's a couple of versions i believe there's a metallic version and then there's the normal version i've just gone with the normal uh 3000 piece um, I definitely think that if I'm going to go and get it, I'm going to get it soon because I, I'm seeing kind of on eBay America, it's sort of going between 50 and 70 pound, which I think is a very, very good price for it. Um, the fact that there is 3,000 normal ones and 2,000 metallic, people might say it might not be a grill, but I think over the course of time, this could be one of those pops that goes into the six, 700 pound mark purely because of one who it is um and two just what a nice pop it is personally um so i definitely am thinking that if i'm going to get it i'm gonna have to get it very quick um just in case it does rock it up in price and i can see that happening very very soon the fact that it's a new pop people are selling it quite quickly um but i think over the course of time the people that want that pop are going to have it and then it's going to become a very luxurious pop to try and get. So um, definitely, definitely one that I am looking to get. Now we're kind of going on to uh, the more expensive Freddy Funkos, but ones that are realistic that I could potentially get in the future. But number three has to be Sting. Um, Sting is one of my all-time favourite wrestlers. Um, I personally absolutely love Sting. Um, I have, of course, my Sting and Lex Luger uh, signed pop from WWE. Um, so I would very, very much like to add the Sting Freddy Funko to the collection. There's, I think it's a 500 piece if I'm correct. Um, and it is quite expensive. It's coming in at about £400. But I haven't looked at the last time it sold. So if it hasn't sold in quite a while, you're probably looking anywhere between the six to seven hundred pound mark, um, which will be an absolute bummer. But if it has sold recently and the four hundred pound is pretty accurate, then maybe, just maybe, um, in the near future, I might look to uh, purchase um, this sort of pop. I am looking to whittle down my collection. 
Um, I have a lot of pops like Toy Story that I started off with um, collecting just the normal kind of Toy Story logos. Um, I may be looking to sell some of those pops, which might not be uh, equivalent to much, but there's probably about two to 300 pops that I personally own that I'm probably going to look to whittle down to about 100 um, and go and buy top end grails out of that. So hopefully that might be one of them that I do decide to purchase. Number two is one of my favorite kind of Disney orientated um, pops. Um, and there is two versions of this. There's a normal and a metallic. I have gone for the metallic version because I actually do prefer it, even though it's more expensive. And that is the 300 piece, the Genie um, pop. I absolutely love this uh, pop. I have tried to win it in various uh, raffles, um, doing various kind of mystery boxes. So one day I'm hoping to own that pop for sure but it is at about 500 to 600 pounds. So it's not one that I'm gonna actually own personally if I go and buy it outright. I think this is a pop that I'm going to have to win elsewhere um, where the risk is quite low. Um, but I would absolutely love to own that pop. And number one isn't one that anyone would probably think of um, and it is the 500 piece red version the devil um fungo um of freddy uh the reason i love that pop is because a lot of my tattoos are kind of heaven and hell orientated um and i love everything to, this can sound a bit sadistic i love everything to do with demonology um and um kind of things of the unknown so I absolutely love the devil um, pop a lot, but also I just like the quirkiness, the kind of um, funny nature of the pop. And it's coming in at about 200 to 300 pound, um, which I think is pretty fair. If I wanted the cheaper version, I could go for the black version. But for me, I do prefer the red. So I think that could also be the most expensive Freddy Funko that I might go out and purchase unless I go for Sting. Um, but I think the future will be quite interesting. But Freddy Funkos are definitely on the list to purchase. Um, but that is it for the Freddy Funkos. There are so many that I would have loved to put on there. Especially the likes of uh, Jer uh, the Joker, Surf's Up, etc. Um, but of course, the top 10 is that for myself. Let me know what your favourite top... Um, or not necessarily top 10. Maybe your top 3 Freddy Funkos that you like. Or even the 3 that you own. Let me know in the comments, subscribe if you're new around here, and of course, like if you like what you have seen. And until next time, guys, I shall see you all very, very soon. Bye.